Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today you're going to be turning this piece of plastic into something cool like this. That's right. Today you will have the power to transform plastic into something amazing. Now here's the thing. You can't actually do this in Tinkercad. So we have to go to a different program. Are you serious right now? I thought you were the Tinkercad YouTube guy. Uh, no, I'm not. And yes, I am serious. Please go away. Eh, fine. Anyways, you're going to go to a website called It's Litho. Let me spell that out for you right here. I-T-S-L-I-T-H-O. While you're looking for that, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much for your support. I'm going to click on this link right here. It's Litho. When you come to the website, you'll see this page right here. Get started, get started. Essentially, that's all you want to do. Uh, I'll click this one down here. And this is going to be a very short tutorial because this is a very simple, very basic um, program to use. So we're going to start with upload. You're going to upload an image and Litho Bell. Nope, I want Litho. Where did I have my family picture? Oh, right here. There's my family. And so now that you have a picture here, you go to the next part. If you want to edit it, and sometimes you do, sometimes you want it to be longer than taller. A taller image will kind of skew the, the bell that we're about to make. So rectangular going sideways is the best for the bell. Now, if you want to change any of these, that's fine. I'm not sure we're going to be rotating or doing anything like that here. So let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> now, your three buttons on the mouse, if you have three, uh, try them because right now my click wheel is moving this forward. My left click is rotating this. And as you can see, it kind of looks weird if you're not looking at it directly ahead. And my right click just moves it in this direct, these directions. Okay. I just like to get used to that because I, I don't like having to manually move these things. So what's the deal? Why are we doing this? Because we can do this in flash print or in Cora. Please watch my videos for that because it's pretty easy. We're doing this for another reason. They have a Christmas special. Whoa, too far, too close. <clears throat> I'm not sure why you would want this picture. Perhaps if it was just one person, that's fine. But if you enable the hook, well, it adds the hook. And now you can put a light behind it, hang it on your lights on the Christmas tree and put a light behind it. It'll look cute. However, that's not what we're looking for. Let me show you another one, a tree. Okay, great. Part of my sun is showing. That's amazing. Let's move on. And the ball. Cuter. Now, this is where you'd want to play with the image, which is down here. You'd want to change some of the options to make it more centered, but this isn't why I'm showing you. I just want to, wanted you to see some options that they have here. And the sphere is the other one. Obviously it doesn't look cool unless we mess with the image. You'd have to like uh, zoom in and zoom out to get the picture that you want. Again, this is why you'd want to pick the best image for this particular one. I personally do not care for this one in particular. However, let's just go back to this. If you are going to do this, I want you to see that there is a hole down here because you can put a light inside of this. And then, you know, uh, if you look around, it'll show all the faces if they were in the center. Again, why you got to choose the best picture for your particular ornament here. Some people um, will put this on a Christmas tree. They'll put a light inside from, you know, the lights that go around the Christmas tree and they'll let it shine. That's nice, but that's not why we're here. We're actually here for one called Revolve. It's in the Revolve section, but we want the bell. I'm going to click on the bell again, and there it is. Now, this is the, the one that gave you the image that I showed you earlier today. And, whoa. <clears throat> one thing that I would change just in my class the height, this is 200 millimeters. That is going to be huge. I would make this at most, at most 90, and then I would hit enter. It's a uh, smaller, but 
here's the thing. For this particular shape, you can put a light under here and it'll illuminate, make it'll look really cool. Or you could put a Christmas light in here. You can just string it in there, maybe tie a knot and it won't come out, but it will light up and hang on your tree if you have one. Now, <clears throat> those are the options. If you wanted to change uh, the image in any possible way, that's where you would do that. Um, I really would not change anything else. I thought you said this was going to be a short video. Yeah, sorry, not as short as you. Go away. So anyways, as you can see, if you were to change any of these, which I don't recommend, it kind of makes it kind of weird. I'll do it for you. I'll show you number five from 39.6 to this and look what happens. Yeah, crazy stuff happens. So let's put that back at 39.6. A less dramatic form would be this. Eh, don't really care for that. So for my suggestion would be to just leave the image alone. The only one is to change this one. Now, uh, any of these settings you can change, but it's really up to you. These are kind of cool depending on what kind of light you're gonna put under here. It lets, it gives you different attributes. So let me change this right here. Enable lamp. Now it allows you to put a light in there and hold it at a certain position. That's nice. And those are your options. When you're done and you like, you you know, you have it just the way you like, you wanna hit download. And then it gives you this, hey, thank you for using its litho and you know, feel free to share. But it's essentially giving you that message while it's rendering everything and you just want to download lithophane because that's what this is called, a lithophane. And then it's going to ask you where you want to save it on my computer. However, on yours, it might just show up down here and then you want to click the little down arrow and show in folder. That way you know where it is. Anyways, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification. Thank you for always watching my videos. I really appreciate everything that you're doing. Have a great day.